I hire him here. Yesterday I did what I thought would be my last video test on this survival EDC ultralight titanium alcohol stove that I got on eBay. It's basically a knockoff of the Evernew titanium alcohol stove. But uh, I was doing tests on this, different ways of different amounts of alcohol and stuff. And I thought I was done. But then I got a comment from Drunken Shooter where a drunken shooter commented, I have a couple of questions about how different pots will sit on on it without the pot stand. Uh, I'd like to know if the Stanley Adventure Camp Cook Set pot fits, and also the Ali Camp XTS pot. LOL, I just had a thought. If you tested the Stanley pot, you could call the video... <coughs> The Survival EDC Ultralight Titanium Alcohol Stove Using Primer Pan Without a Pot Stand with a Stanley Adventure Cook Camp Cook Set Pot Boil Test 1. So, thanks to Drunken Shooter, that's what this video is going to be called. The title is so long, I don't even have room on my notes for the whole thing. I'll have to see if uh, YouTube will accept it. But that's what I'm going to do today. Do another test using the Stanley Pot Set. It fits on there. It even fits in the dents. I'll give the dimensions down below as far as the diameter of the resting area, the diameter of the jets. And on the Stanley, you have a couple of diameters. You have this diameter, which doesn't really matter. It fits on the stove. You have this diameter which is a little bit smaller, but then it tapers out to the main diameter. So I'm thinking the flames are going to hit this, and most of the heat will be from it traveling up the side. I don't, at this time, have an Olicamp XTS pot. I traded that with somebody, but I keep getting a lot of people asking about that pot again with different stoves, so I guess I'm going to have to uh, get one, another one off eBay. But let me try with this. I'll get my water prepped, get some alcohol in here. I'll do it again with the one fluid ounce minus the one milliliter of uh, alcohol in the primer pan. Had a number of really good suggestions from people as far as how else to prime this. Might have to do some playing around with that. But let me get my water and alcohol prepped, and I'll be right back for a test. Okay, so I've got my water prep, two cups of water sitting at 60 degrees. Now the water level is up to here. So we've got all this space where the flame goes up the side will be hitting the water area. Uh, one fluid ounce, 30 milliliters of methanol in here. I took one milliliter out and put it in the primer pan. Let's light that. Come on. I don't know what happened to the alcohol. Okay, let's. It may have moved and went underneath the burner on this. Okay, I can hear the alcohol starting to bubble. We'll fan this. I don't know, did I say the room temperature is 70 degrees, 53 percent humidity, it's cloudy out. Okay, there we should be starting to vaporize. Okay, it's trying to kick in. The uh, primer usually seems to run out at about a minute with the uh, one milliliter. We're working on 54 seconds here. 58, 59. Okay. And the primer is still going. Probably because of the slow start. A little bit of spitting here. Another reason why you got to be really... Uh, part of that is I don't know if it's uh, methanol condensing on here or it's just water dropping off. Okay, there goes the primer. 
and now we're just working on flames so let's see how long this takes to get it to a boil we're now at about the two minute mark since the primer flames went out and it's just working on the flames from the burner they're very subdued I can't think of anything else but just you know it died back the pan is still very wet I guess from the humidity but uh, I don't see the flames coming up the sides yet hopefully as this really gets going the flames will come up and over the sides so let's see where it goes from here there we have 210 to 11 to 12 at 1222 okay a bit slower than yesterday's with the Boy Scout pot but this is about the highest the flames have gotten uh, I hope you can see here that they're just kind of bending on the edge of the pot but I don't see anything coming up the sides unlike with a Boy Scout pot all of this flame would be on the bottom side of the pot so there's not a whole lot of area here where the flames are hitting the pot but let's see how long this takes for a run out and well yeah let's just see how long it takes for a run out okay the flames are dying down Okay, the flames are going, going, gone at 21.15 it looked like, 21.15, okay, so that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, came to a boil in 12 minutes 21 seconds and then ran out at 21 minutes 15 seconds uh, I think I showed you I will show you when it did come to a boil that the flames still weren't very big and I think that's what helped it run let's see yesterday with the Boy Scout pot this ran out at 19 minutes 27 seconds so this lasted almost two minutes longer but I think that that might be because of the smaller uh, diameter of this pot it didn't reflect as much heat down at the stove so the flames always stayed kind of small compared to what they did with the Boy Scout pot okay so let me let this stuff get cooled while I was sitting here watching this I thought of some another question that I'll probably get from people so let me cool this off and I'll be right back for the end of this okay so the question that I was thinking might be asked is how well does this stuff fit inside the Stanley Cup? And the question, there it goes. That's the primer pan, the stove, in a wrap, in a, wrapped up in a plastic bag. Fits in there with plenty of space even for a, a windscreen or something, plus whatever else you want to put in here. And always wrap your alcohol stove. Once it's burned out, cooled off, I always wrap it in a plastic bag try to keep it from contaminating the inside of something that you're going to use for food water or food so I hope that helps drunken shooter uh, it does work it fits in the pot real nice so you don't have to carry around another stand with it but you know if you're one of these people that gotta have everything real fast maybe this might not be up to snuff for you but it does work and the alcohol lasts a surprising long time so I thank Drunken Shooter for the comment. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.